The American entertainment industry is no stranger to making their own versions of Korean shows and movies. They're planning to remake Parasite and Train to Busan, and have already remade The Good Doctor and The Masked Singer, but it seems like Koreans are finally turning the tables on them. They're making a spin-off of Money Heist, and the cast has also been revealed. So who's part of the cast, and what are some strange facts about them that you probably didn't know? Yu Di Pei. Yu Di Pei will take over as the mastermind professor in the series, which basically means he's pretty much the lead character in the show. And I don't think there's any one more perfect for the role because this man is smart in capital letters. He has earned several degrees including a bachelor's in theater arts, a master's in film and multimedia, multimedia and film, and another master's in social services. If that wasn't enough for him, he signed up for classes in 2021 to earn a master's in film and animation industry policy making and planning. How does he have time for all of this on top of having a very successful family and raising two children? Yu Ji Tae has an impressive filmography under his belt that includes movies like Old Boy, Nightmare, and The House That Jack Built with stars like Uma Thurman and William Dafoe. He has also acted in dramas like Mad Dog, When My Love Blooms with Got Seven's Teen Young, and The Good Wife with Nana. He's married to actress Kim Kyo Jin, who he met at a photo shoot back in 2003 and then started dating in 2006. The couple have two adorable kids together and are known for being very charitable. In 2010, the couple donated 20 million won to Haiti earthquake relief among countless volunteer services. They also donated the monetary gifts from their wedding to World Vision to help an elementary school in Myanmar and have donated money to combat COVID-19 in 2020. What a power couple. Pa Kei Su. It looks like Pa Kei Su has become Netflix's new favorite lead actor. After his role as Song Woo in Squid Game, he has joined the cast of Money Heist Korea, joint economic area, as Berlin. Berlin is one of the most important characters in the original Money Heist. He is both the boss and the brain of the group, also a close friend of the professor. The actor that plays Berlin in the Spanish version of the show, Pedro Alonso, even sent Hei Su a dolly mask as a gesture of passing on the baton. On. We love to see legends supporting legends. Heisu strangely didn't start his career playing roles in dramas and movies, but in theaters with the musical Mr. Lobby in 2007. After that, Pak Heisu continued to pursue his career with famous plays including Macbeth, Frankenstein, and the chorus Oedipus, but then moved on to the small screen. He's most known for his role in Prison Playbook, which was his breakout role, and of course Squid Game, but he nailed both of the roles, so it's no surprise that he keeps getting casted in even more big dramas. He got married in 2018, and has a son who was coincidentally born the day that Squid Game first premiered. That's why he considers his son his lucky charm. Not only that, but he has the cutest nickname for him and it's directly related to Squid Game. He revealed that he and his friends call him Baby Squid. Isn't that just adorable? However, unfortunately, he has won only two awards for his acting so far, but don't be surprised if you see him pulling Adele at the Oscars next year. Jung Jung Seo. Jung Jung Seo, who will play Tokyo, hasn't been in many movies, but that doesn't mean that she's any less talented. It took a while before she finally got signed with her present talent agency, My Company. Just three days after officially signing with them, she found herself being cast for the role of Haimi in the psychological thriller film Burning with no prior experience in acting. After that, she was cast in the Netflix movie The Call and the director was so impressed by her acting that he chose not to direct every scene Dong Seo did in order to see her acting style and further maximize her abilities for the film. That said, she was left to act freely on her own and received notes only when needed. Money Heist is her first ever drama production Production, but based on her acting in her previous two movies, nobody has any doubts that she'll be an excellent Tokyo. She's also set to make her Hollywood debut in the film Mona Lisa and the Moonblood, so our girl is by all definitions booked and busy. Lee Won Jong. Considering Lee Won Jong has been acting since 1999, it's no surprise that it will take a while to scroll to the bottom of his filmography. Some of his best works include Uncontrollably Fond, Mr. Perfect, Detective Mr. E, The Late Justice, and Possessed. He is widely known for his special cameo appearances as well. And he's been cast as Moscow in Money Heist Korea and everyone is trusting him to really bring the character to life. Kim Ji-hoon. Actor Kim Ji-hoon will be playing the role of Denver, but this will probably get confusing because another actor on the show is named Kim Ji-hoon. While he gained many new fans after his Flower of Evil role, he has actually been in the film industry for two decades now. But did you know that he was actually never meant to be an actor in the first place? Ji-hoon was actually a trainee under SM Entertainment and was supposed to debut with Super Junior. What's even more interesting is that he had been picked from SM Saturday Open Auditions, which is an incredibly rare case, but he decided to turn to acting instead. He made his acting debut in Loving You in 2002 and continued to star in more than 20 K dramas, including Flower Boy Next Door in 2013, Dong Bodhi is Here in 2014, and Rich Family's Son in 2018. His most famous role was as Picky's son in Flower of Evil, and he got a lot of praise for that. It's no surprise whatsoever. Have you seen his acting there? Dong Yoon Do. If anyone deserves to be called an all rounder, it's Dong Yoon 
Sindhu. Not only is she a talented actress, but she's also a model and a singer. She began her modeling career at 17, and since then, she has walked on fashion runways for major designers, worked with some of the greatest photographers in the fashion industry, and landed modeling jobs for luxury brands. And if she looks familiar to K-pop fans, it's because she's that model from Karina's Black Mamba teaser. She's also a singer, songwriter, and has released two albums, Dream in 2008 and I'm Fine in 2012. Watching her act, you'd think that she got into acting very early on, but she actually made her acting debut at the age of 35 in the movie Veteran in 2005. She'll play the role of Nairobi, and while she might be only three films old in the industry, I can't wait to see her in the role. Lee Hyunwoo The role of Ryo hasn't always belonged to Hyunwoo. Previously, Park Jung-woo was cast in the drama, but his agency announced that he had to step down from the remake due to conflicting schedules with another drama he was filming. Lee Hyunwoo will do justice to the role just as well though, so don't be too disappointed. Lee began his career as a child actor, building up his resume by playing roles in a number of large-scale productions such as The Legend, King Sejong the Great, The Return of Iljime, and Queen Sondok. He really started off his career on the right foot. He's most known for his role in The Liar and His Lover alongside Red Velvet's Joy. He hasn't only been an actor though, as he was also a host in Inkigayo and even released a digital singer prior to his enlistment. How is everyone in this cast so talented? Kim Yoo Jin. We have another big name to the cast, and it's that of Kim Yoo Jin who will be playing Son Woo Jin, who is a crisis negotiation team leader. She's best known for her role as Sun in the critically acclaimed series Lost. Yoo Jin was born in Seoul, South Korea, and later immigrated to the United States with her family. She attended high school at the prestigious School for Music and Performing Arts. From there, she went on to study drama at the London Academy of Performing Arts and later earned her degree in drama at Boston University. After graduation, she fully devoted herself to acting and had several minor parts on MTV, in soap opera style dramas on ABC, and on the off-Broadway stage. After her lead role in the show Mistresses, she returned to Korean television as the lead of Miss Ma Nemesis in 2018. I think it's safe to say that we're all happy to have her back. Park Myung-ho You might not recognize him because he doesn't have dirt all over his face and isn't hitting a light switch repeatedly with his head, but Park Myung-ho is the man living in the basements of the Park's house in the Oscar-winning movie Parasite. He made his acting debut as a stage actor in the 1999 play Class and has played in a few movies since then. He also appeared in Crash Landing on You in a supporting role as a North Korean militant, but his most famous role remains his role in Parasite. I'm definitely excited to see him in Money Heist, and based on how well he did in Parasite, at least we know he won't have any troubles playing the hostage. Lee Do Bin What if I told you that someone else from the cast was almost an idol before turning to other jobs? Well, it's true. Lee Do Bin, who will be playing another hostage of the bank, was a trainee at DSP Media and was supposed to debut with the group Rainbow. The position she was supposed to be under is unknown, but I definitely know she would be the visual. However, the debut of the group kept getting pushed, so she just left the agency altogether to become a model. She has also appeared in a few music videos, but she officially made her debut as an actress in 2017 in the drama Whisper. Since then, she has made some impressive appearances in dramas like Find Me In Your Memory, Be Melodramatic, and Mr. Sunshine. I have a feeling she'll gain a lot of fame from Money Heist, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this will be her breakout role. Are you going to watch the remake of Money Heist? Tell me your thoughts in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Bye!